Hey guys, Bill Yaley, Mad Scientist Lab here. Hadn't posted anything in a while because me and the guys have been uh, removing a dud engine that blew out a cylinder. So anyway, uh, I got a couple of things that I recorded before and the microphone went dead. So um, anyway, an experiment coming up with uh, working with some transistors and using different diodes to uh, tweak the sound of the fuzz aldrin or a fuzz circuit that you can play around with on your own. All right, have fun. We're gonna get back to getting this thing crunk up. So if I turn this on, you'll, you'll hear the 200 hertz sound coming through the amp down below. And that's the yellow line that you see on the scope there. The green line is the fuzz signal, which you're also hearing through the amp. And, you know, it doesn't sound all too exciting right now because it's just one note. Um, now, what happens if I turn this up a little bit? One thing you may notice about this is that this section down here is wider than this top section. This is what we call asymmetrical clipping. It's when it's, yeah, it's, it's a square wave, but one lobe of the square wave is much larger than the other. So that's asymmetrical. Now, here's what's cool. If I have a diode facing each direction, it has a different sound. You may have may have heard it change a little bit. Wow, this looks nothing like what it did yesterday. One thing you should notice though is that this top section, which used to be more narrow than the bottom, it's um, it's now kind of the other way. It's it's actually it's a little bit more symmetrical. Got an idea up the frequency. Nope, that's worse. Sounds like I've... Okay, that's what I was expecting. Alright, so this is a hundred hertz and... Okay, so a hundred hertz it's a fairly symmetrical looking square wave for, for the fuzz signal coming out there. That's that green line. Now if I take out this other one, now it goes back to asymmetrical with the more narrow top and the wider bottom. It's also a little bit positive uh, biased coming out. All right, so that has a different sound. If I add, turn this up a bit, if I toggle this extra diode in and out, so that right there is pretty cool. So that's the difference between asymmetrical and symmetrical clipping uh, using this simple fuzz circuit. Now if you use other diodes, uh, just the, the volume or the, the voltage at which it changes that reference, um, like if I used a germanium, that's like um, 0.3 volts that it has its activation voltage. So it, it would just distort differently, it would distort sooner. Uh, now, if I use something like an LED, it usually needs a little bit more juice to um, have that forge forward voltage activated. Um, anyway, hope this hope this helps. And now I can quit leaning forward and talking to the camera out of this strange angle. All right, good enough. All right, Jay, go ahead, crank it. Crank it, you It's a lie!